How's it going everybody? My name is Darren, or if you know me from Instagram, Darren's Wedgeworks. Judging by the Instagram handle, you can tell I really like the short game. I love playing it, practicing, and teaching the short game. And one thing I see a lot of is people make the short game more difficult than it needs to be. Golf's already a very difficult game, as we all know, so there's no reason to make it any more difficult. So when they ask me, Darren, how do you make the short game simpler? How do you make chipping simpler? What I tell them is, if you can putt, then you can chip. Here, let me show you. When you putt, assuming you use a conventional length putter, semi-conventional grip, we grip the putter and our arms and shoulders create this triangle. And to make a putting stroke, we simply rock this triangle back and forth. We keep the triangle consistent, we rock our shoulders, back and forth, moves the putter, and we're gonna hit the ball. If you can do this motion, which I believe everyone can do, then you can hit chip shots, you can hit many different types of chip shots using the same motion, creating this triangle, and rocking our shoulders. Here, I'll show you. There's a few small changes you have to make from going from a putting setup to a chipping setup. The first one is your ball position. When you're putting, you want to hit slightly up on the ball, and when we're chipping, we want to have a descending blow into the ball. And because of this, we're going to move the ball position back. So the ball position is going to be on the inside of your trail heel, or for me, right heel because I'm right-handed. This is just going to help us hit down into the ball a little bit. Secondly is your weight. We want our weight to feel about 70% on our lead side. This, again, is just going to help you swing down into the ball, have a descending blow into the ball. And the third little change is your feet. They can be narrow, they can be a little wider. You don't want to go any wider than shoulder width. This is more of a preference thing. And then whether they're open or closed depends on the club face. If we have a square club face, we can keep our feet square. But if we open the club face, the club face starts pointing right. So we need to adjust our feet, open our feet up so the club face can be pointed at the target. Once we get in the right setup, we can make the same motion we did with putting. We create this triangle with our arms, and just rotate our shoulders back and through. Copying the putting motion is a great visual and a great way for beginners to learn the basics of chipping, because this is gonna serve as the foundation to all different types of shots you're gonna hit around the green. Just learning this simple motion, you can hit a lot of different shots. I'll show you a few. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching the end of the video, and I hope you can transfer some of the things you learned here today into your game and start making the short game a little simpler. Now, if you learned something today, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.